Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one more problem from lead code. It is a medium problem. The problem name is minimum size sub array sum. The problem goes statement goes like this that you are given an array of positive integer nums as you can see in the input as well as a positive integer target. Fine. Return the minimal length of the contiguous sub arrays such that the sum is greater than or equal to target and there is no sub array. If there is no sub array, then return is zero. So you have to return for this nums array what is the minimum length contiguous sub array whose sum of all the numbers is greater than or equal to target. I can check it out. So whenever I want to find out sub arrays and there is some target value, uh, it's better to use sliding window approach. Okay, like not hundred percent, but yeah, in some of the cases because the length is required in the sub array. There is no fixed length sub arrays. If there's fixed length sub arrays, then we can just do sliding window type of thing. But here is also like sliding windows approach. But like we have to like manipulate the two sides of the window. Okay, so what you are trying to do here is that I have to somehow manipulate the two ends of the window. The, the end window ends denote the sub array, and we want to minimize the length of it, but such that the number of elements in that should be having the sum greater than or equal to target. I can do that. Let's take one example. Let us remove this out. Let us take the numbers from the example only. So two three one two 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 three one two and then two three one two four three four three and the target is seven the so target is seven. so what we'll start with is that we will try to make a window okay now in that window how we will build you will start from the very first element and then let's say you can just assume that there is only a window of size one so there is only two inside that now keep on incremented the size of the window. So now the window has got two elements. So now the total sum has become five. Okay. Now still it is less than target. I want a total greater than or equal to target. Okay. So let us again remove this out. Inc increment the size of the window. It has become three. So three and so it has become six now. Still less than. Increment it. This is also not taken. So now it is two more added. So eight which is greater than or equal to target. So that is fine. So this is one of the valid windows or sub area I can take. So now this is equal to, let's say the length is equal to four. Now what happens is ki if I now incremented more then obviously the, the total sum of the target will like the total sum of the sub area will increase. But the the length of the sub area I want to minimize the length will increase. Okay. I don't want to do that. So what I'll do is that to decrease the length now, what I'll do is I will move the left pointer of this sub array. So what I'll do is that instead of now moving this to the right again, like adding one more element, what I'll do is that I want to somewhat decrease the size such that now it becomes less than seven. And then I keep on appending to make it greater than seven because if I again add one more element, it will be still greater than seven, but the length is large, but I want to minimize the length. So what I'll do is that let us now. Okay. So this is like this. Let us now move this point. If I move this point to this point, what is the total sum that I've got? Because I've lost one element of length two, like value two, it will become equal to six. And now it has gone less than seven. So which means that this sub array is less than seven. I want to increase it. And if I want to increase it, what I'll do? I'll make my right pointer go to the more right hand side. So now I will keep on moving this point. I hope you get the point. So what I'll do is that now I will append this element so it will become 10 and it is now greater than greater than equal to uh, 7 the length is there so what i can say is that whether this is valid this is valid but the length is still 4 and we have a 4 so we don't have to we have to get a value that is less than 4 so this is also fine but i will not take it so be, now because it has gone more than 7 what i'll do i will move my left pointer to the right hand side so let us move this to the right hand side so let's remove this element out. If I remove this element out, it be become this of length. Three is removed, so now total sum becomes seven. And what you can observe here is that total sum has become greater than or equal to seven. So this is also a valid window. And if this is again a valid window, the length of this is three, which is less than the length we have already. So which means that we will update this length and we will make this three. That I have found out a length of greater than or equal to target value that is of length three and that is also valid. Now can I somewhat decrease my window again 
to get a same length or like to get a more optimized value if i just delete this out also the window now consists of only seven like six total sum of six so that is not valid because i want to get it an equal to seven so now i will keep on appending new elements so what i'll do i will up, update this it will become like three is added to this so it will become nine this is also valid and the total length is three so i have a three length so it is fine so the answer is three so i'll let us check it out and the answer is okay 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 so yeah there is also one more answer like this so it is nine actually now what they actually done is key okay this is fine so this is uh so when we have got a greater than equal to nine, like seven answer what we'll do is that we'll move my left pointer so when i move my left pointer what i will what we'll do move this out and if i remove this out this two is removed and it comes to this point which is four plus three which is seven and this is also a valid window so and its length is less than three so i will update this as well here and it will become two here so now it has become less than two because we have to find out windows whose size is less than like whatever we can optimize so that the least size window is get which has a target which has a total sum value greater than equal to target fine so we have got the answer the answer is two so i hope you get the point how this is visualize like how you can visualize all of that how sliding window is doing all its work let us move to the code part now so that it will become awkward to you how we have done this whole part so what is the good part here yeah. so what we have done is that this is total okay by total i means that i want to uh what we're trying to do here is that the total sum okay what is the current total sum of the window okay this is the last last i means the left value okay the last index of the window that we are forming from which the window is continuously being built this is the minimum value the minimum value i mean says k because we want to minimize the total length so this is the this is for the length actually minimum length you can see. Now what I'll do is I will iterate over this whole array and I will add the current element to the window that I'm building. Okay. Whenever my total window size or like total window sum has exceeded the target, which you can see here, what I'll do because I want the window of should be having the total value of greater than or equal to target. What I'll do, I will first minimize the length of the window over all the windows that we have in which the total value is greater than or equal to target. So when the total get an equal target and that is a valid window what i'll do i will minimize the length as you can see so the current length is i plus one the last is i subtract them out cool and uh, now because that window is we have found it out what i'll do i'll move my left pointer to the right so that we want to somewhat more decrease the length of the window such that still can we get an answer so total will be now decreased by the last value okay that is the leftmost pointer so last plus plus so decrease that value and then move to the next value because the window is now shrinking okay and subtract that last value from total and this while loop will be done inside that so even like either you are like or not either you are seeing that there are two like one for loop and one while loop but still it is an o of n solution only because we are not doing for every n this while loop is doing for every n this n will only move when we have a window so both of them will at most move to the very end okay one is moving and then other is also falling that so both of them will only move one time from the very start to the very end they are not continuously moving back forth back forth back forth i hope you get the point so both of them will be only moving one time from the very left to the very right and thus even if both of them move it is o of n for every for loop they, are, they even look nested but still they only are doing one loop so it will be o of n only got it so that is one of the very nice case for sliding windows that they might give you an illusion that it is o of n square but it is o of n so the space complexity is none because it has constant space that is using and in the end if i have we have find out one of the possible sub arrays this minimum is like altered we have got the answer if not the we have not actually find out any of the sub arrays that has the total sum greater than equal target we will wait on zero that there is that's the overall logic and the code part for this problem i hope you understand the time complexity and space complexity of this problem as well if you still have any doubts you can mention down in the comment box thank you for watching the video till the end i will see you in the next one till i keep coding and bye